in this video. I think it's part 11. I just like to show you one or two things, basic things, <coughs> excuse me, uh, about the web page module on ERP Next. And in fact, uh, the landing page or home page, um, if you type in the your system's ER URL, is in fact this. So you can see there's a bit of text and there's a product, it is, there's no picture because there's a picture selected and one or two things. And this is all configured. So let me show you where that comes from. So we just first log in. <coughs> Okay, we logged in and we go to the website section. <clears throat> now there's a few things that's important here. Well, not important, but which I'm going to fo be focusing on. And that's the web page, website settings, uh, the home page, the home page section, and the web page. All right. Now first up, let's just have a look at the web page. It lists any pages here. I've already done a page here. Um, it's rather simple. I'm not going to actually delete it and do it. I'll show you how I did that. It's very simple. <clears throat> so we've got one web page, but keep in mind there's also a home page here. <clears throat> all right, and you can see all the text and stuff. I'll go through that just now. Let's just go back to the web page. So really, in your list of all the pages available, you need to add another one here, which is called home page. Okay. And certainly on any of these pages, you'll always see this route. It's a, almost like a tag that refers to a particular page, and everything's got a, um, it's got a route. Even if you load products, there's a route involved. And I'll show you where you pick that up as well. So just keep a lookout for that. So on the website settings, it says, what is my home page? And it refers to home. Now, of course, once again, there's routes. You've got some standard links here, index, login, products, blog, about, contact, and they may as well have added home here. Okay, so those are default ones, and the home is attached to a home page. All right, now, of course, you can remember that this is the title, and this is the text on the home page, and this is the default setting. It's a default well, not quite a theme, because the theme actually defines the fonts and colors and stuff. Um, but yeah, the, the default layout is probably a better word. And it refers to the hero section. The hero section is, of course, if there's another nice way to look at our website, just clicking that button. This is the hero section. All right, so you can define what happens there. There's the top um, and the footer is down below. All right. Okay, let's quickly run through a few things. You know, I can make this a, a four-hour video and go all the detail, but I really just want to get you going on a few things. So this is the, the brand, the top bar, the banner, the footer, where you define a few things, and you define your home page. All right, so if you go to the home page, there you've got the text. Okay, and you've got the products, and that's it. The rest is defined in website settings. All right, now let's keep that this uh, like that for the moment, and let's have a look at a few things here. Now, um, the branding, there's text here that says Trinity Drones. Where does that appear? Well, actually, you know what? Let's just have a look at all of these things. The top bar shows those buttons. It's a label, and there's a, a route, a URL linked to it. Um, there's a banner, which, of course, at this stage is not used. And then you've got the footer, uh, where you have the copyright message. And right at the bottom, it says, hide the footer sign up. You can actually hide that, that footer right at the bottom. Disable sign up is right at the beginning when you log on. You can either choose to have the sign up text under your login box. So if somebody wants to sign up, they can sign up. I've disabled that for security. I don't want everybody to sign up and create users on the on the system. I want to 
put the users on it's under my control but that's your choice um, so that's that's where you set or unset a few things and if you certainly look at the current settings again you know we've got a few buttons there we've got the text we've got the products as in the home page and then you've got this and the copyright which is all defined okay <clears throat> let's start adding and removing a few things so you can just get an idea the branding you can add a an image all right so let's add an image uh, I've got an image here somewhere there we go you just drop it in there and you say upload all right so there's the branding image and now you just say set banner from image and it installs the correct HTML pay, uh, text or code rather that's the right that's the right word all right we can just say save but we're not quite finished yet on the top bar uh, we can actually add another uh, label called index and we can refer to that as index page that's the page I created now I'll show you maybe I should have done that first but all right forgive me I'll show you how I created that page it's just a another web page rather simple with two pictures on it that I created so what I did is on the top bar I added uh, a little button all right and if you go into the detail you see the right button is clicked so it'll be on the right hand side okay the others are unticked so they'll be on the left hand side okay let's have a look at what we've done so far <clears throat> so we save that and we look at our website and you'll see there's an index button on the right hand side and we've added our logo all right so next up I'd like to change that to the left hand side so we untick that right so next time that'll be on the left hand side disable sign up already I've already told you what it's all about and the footer I want to uh, where is that now hide the sign up all right let's save that and we view our website and we can see it's now on the left hand side with our logo still there and that sign up there is gone all right okay um, let's just quickly have a look at that if you click on this button it'll go to that web page and you'll see it's simply just a slideshow with two pictures it'll auto rotate or you can advance it yourself just two pictures and if I don't click on it automatically it um, it'll rotate to the next picture uh, not sure what the timeout is before it slots over to the next picture uh, let's just give it a few seconds can't remember what the timeout is all right anyway so then we go to um, uh, 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 yeah let me show you the page that we created web page there's the index page all right it makes use of a slideshow and that you create by going to the slide show Um, oh, it's one word I think slideshow yeah there we go there's a slideshow which I created and it's simply just you just load two images on here and of course you can add more and it just rotates all right it's called a slideshow so on my web page I simply said all right I've got a um, the page route is index page page it's called index page and I've got a slideshow and that's it you can of course add HTML code to your heart's content um, but just for the basics you know let's just stick uh, to you know what you can do with what's available you know certainly if you load HTML code you can load very complex web pages all right so one more thing I'd like to show you is if we use a home section now getting back to the home page remember this is where we uh, enter our text 
All right. Oh, I think before we do the uh, home section, let me just quickly show you something else. If you look, sorry, I'm jumping around a little bit now, uh, at the website, you've got the uh, hero section and then the products. All right. There's nothing else. Now, if you enable the blog, there's a couple of blog entries and they're unpublished. Now, if you publish these, Okay, I'm just going to publish two of them. All right. Then if we go to our website, we'll see that there's the hero section, there's products, and now you've got two publications published on the website. All right. So you can switch that on and off. Because the home page structure seems to be defined, um, you can switch this on and off. If you want it in a different place, of course, you can go and design your own page and call that your home page. But as far as this one's concerned, you can just switch it on and off. Um, all right, before I want to carry on, I just want to disable that, as, otherwise it gets a little bit cluttered. Oopsie, hang on. Did I now? Oh, hang on, it's this one, yeah. Published. All right, now. I'd like to create a home page section. All right, there's no new one yet. So I'm clicking on new and let's call it um, Trinity section one. It's based on cards. You can also, of, of course, have HTML code, but let's stick to the cards one. What cards are so very simple. It's just little Boxes, if you want to call it that, very ideal if you want to put down some uh, information about products. You can put a picture there, and there's a link um, that shows some text about the product. But let me rather show you that. So you add a row and you say Trinity Mark 2. I'll show you where to pick up the route just now. And Trinity Mark 3. All right. Now we need to enter a route here. That, that's a route that points towards the item in your item list <coughs> for Trinity Mark 2 and 3. So let's just save this and then we'll have to go to our item list. Let me go and we filter on products. And there it is, the finished products. Now, previously, I actually enabled the web, uh, the website, to show it on the website. All you do is you just tick that, and you fill in where it is. And when you save it, this route gets generated automatically. All right. So we copy that, and we go back to website. Home page section, Trinity section one, and we add that route there. All right, we can also add a picture. Where's my picture of Trinity Mark two? It's that one. And we upload that. There we go. Now we need to do the same for, let's just, no, it's already saved, uh, for Trinity Mark 3. So we go back to our items list and we select Trinity Mark 3. We go right down to the bottom where it says web site. Once again, I've al already enabled this, uh, defined the warehouse and saved and it auto-generated this route for me. So let's copy this. And we go to website and under home page section, we go to our home page and we enter the route. All right, let's add a nice picture. We say attach, and then we've got a nice picture saved of Trinity Mark 3. Drop it in there and we upload. 
All right. And that's it. We say, well, that's already saved. Okay, now we go to, um, well, actually, let's, let's have a look at our website now. If we view the website, you'll see that there's now um, the home section is incorporated there. Now, I'll show you another way how, how to incorporate this, but it seems to um, put, if there's a home section, it seems to put it in by default under the products section. All right. If you go to the home page, you don't actually find a reference to that under the products. So it slots it in underneath here. That's why I say it seems to have a fixed structure. If there's a home section, it doesn't show anything. If there is, it shows it there. But if you now say, I don't want this default hero section. I want my hero section to be based on my home section. And you click on your home page, home page section selection. It will show the one that you've generated. You select that. All right. And you click save. Now, of course, the hero section is going to be based on your uh, home page section that you've designed. So let's have a look at how that looks. On web site settings we say view website and you'll now see that this text is gone and it's now placed the uh, home page section in the hero section and underneath this products and right at the bottom the footer stuff all right so there's really just a few things just to get you going um, I can perhaps look at a little bit more advanced stuff a little bit later on but this really is uh, just a few very basic things that I felt that I should share. You know, the stuff, the fact that there's routes that you access everything. And really also um, the fact that home page actually should be, you must remember that it's actually part of all your pages that you can select and where you set up your home page to be. All right. So that's a basic start. Hope you guys found that helpful.